guys, I have bought some books and I'm very, very excited about them. I feel like it's been so long since I have done a book haul video, but today is the day. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to talk you through all the books that I have bought recently. So I've bought these books from some different places. I've recently moved house and we have the cutest ever bookstore. It's this tiny little independent bookstore and you can go in, but if they don't have what you want, you can email them and they will get the book delivered to their store. So I thought I'd support an independent business and get some of my books from there. So I've got some from there. Um, as well as that, we have also got the cutest little charity bookshop as well. So all secondhand books. And I love going in there because you never know what you're going to find. And I found some absolute gems in there so far. So got some from there as well. And then also I've got a book from the Woman's Prize for Fiction. I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, going to read the full list. We'll see how I get on with it. I bought my first book from the long list, which was announced just last week. So I will start with the books that I got from the small independent little bookshop. And I got three books from there. The first one being The Idiot by Alif Batuman. And I feel this is a different edition from what most people have. Most people have that light pink cover with the rock on it. But I really like this one. I think it's really fun. And I have been wanting to read this book for so, so long. For those of you who don't know, it is set in the 1990s, I think. A girl goes to Harvard. She gets a pen pal from Budapest. I think it's about her time at Harvard and how she goes traveling around Europe and meets this pen pal from Budapest. That's what I think it's about. Um, I'm so excited to read this one. Uh, I feel it's a really popular one that I definitely want to get to soon. Again, another one that I've wanted to read for so long. If you watched my last video where I told you the books that I really want to read, The Idiot was featured on it. And also this one was featured on it too, Hidden Valley Road. This is a non-fiction book that I've just wanted to get to for so long because it sounds so, so interesting. It is about a large family. I think it's, Tw yeah, 12 children and six of them are schizophrenic. There's like a deep dive into their personal life and how this could have maybe come about. So I think this is going to be a really, really interesting read and I've seen loads of amazing reviews on this one. So really excited to read it. It's been a minute since I read a non-fiction book. So I want to get to this one soon for sure. The next book that I got from the independent bookstore was My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Mushafeg. And I feel like she's been getting a lot of popularity recently. So I really wanted to read one of her books and experience her writing because I've never read anything by Atesha Mushafeg before. So really intrigued to read it. And I feel like her books have been getting some really good reviews at the minute. So this book, it says here, it says, Young, Thin, Pretty, a recent Columbia graduate, an apartment on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, paid for her by her inheritance. Anna Rape has many of the advantages of life there is a vacuum at the heart of things and it isn't just the loss of her parents or the way her Wall Street boyfriend treats her or her sadomasochistic, <laughs> don't ever said that right, relationship with her best friend. So I think this is a lot about mental illness um, and I've heard really great things about this so really really excited to get to this one. So then next up are the books that I got from the really cute secondhand bookshop near where I live. And I feel like I found some gems from here because obviously they're thrown in every which way. You never know what you're going to get. But I found some really, really good ones. So I found this one, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And how cute is this edition? I've never seen this before. I imagine it's because it's quite an old one. But I just thought that was super cute. So really happy with that little find. I feel like a lot of people have been talking about this book recently. I get the impression it's a family saga and I love reading about family sagas. That's why I love East of Eden by John Steinbeck so much. So I was really, really intrigued to read this book. So I think this book is about a family who set up this town. I think it is narrated over years and years and years and talks about how the family grows and the town grows. So really excited to read this book. I think it has some magical realism in it too, which again, I love. So yeah, I'm really happy with this little find. I'm really intrigued to read it. So next up is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. And I also read Little Fires Everywhere and loved that. So I thought, why not get another one? I've not heard too much about this book, but I'll read the blurb to you. It says, 
So begins this exquisite novel about a Chinese American family living in 1970s small town Ohio. Lydia is the favourite child of Marilyn and James Lee and her parents are determined that she will fulfil the dreams they, they were unable to pursue. But when Lydia's body is found in the local lake, the delicate balancing act that has been keeping the Lee family together is destroyed, tumbling them all into chaos. That was shocking. I feel like I didn't actually read this blurb. And when I read that they found her body, I was like, whoa. So that's going to be interesting. I wonder if it's like a murder mystery because I love that sort of thing. So really excited to read this one now. And then the third and final book that I got from the charity shop was Transit by Rachel Cusk. Again, I read, um, what was it called? Outlines by Rachel Cusk and really, really enjoyed that one. I feel like her writing is really quiet and beautiful. So really, really enjoy her writing. So I'm excited to read this one. And this one says, in the wake of her family's collapse, a writer and her two young sons moved to London. This upheaval is the catalyst for a number of transitions, personal, moral, artistic and practical, as she endeavours to construct a new reality for herself and her children. In her new surroundings, she is made to confront aspects of living she has, until now, avoided, and to consider questions of her and to consider questions of her vulnerability and power, death and renewal in what becomes her struggle to reattach herself to and believe in life. So it sounds really interesting. It says here it was shortlisted for the Goldsmith Prize. So hopefully I love it. Like I said, I really like her writing. So yeah, excited to read this one. I'm happy I found this one. So I feel like I found some really good books in there. I feel like I was going in so often that I have to give it like a little few week break for some more books to come in. Um, but I always love going in there and discovering some hidden gems. And then the final book um, that I got, like I said, um, the Woman's Prize for Fiction long list was announced last week and I really want to try and read as many books as possible. Um, but I went into my local uh, Waterstones and there's a huge section dedicated to the long list. And some of the books were like £20. So I was like, mm, I'm just going to buy one book for now, read that and then see how I get on. So the one I chose was Pod by Laline Paul. I think it's about a dolphin. It says, E has always felt like an outsider. Suffering from a type of deafness, she cannot master the rituals that unite her pod of spinner dolphins. When tragedy strikes, her family and E knows she's partly to blame. She decides to make the ultimate sacrifice and leave. As E ventures out without the protection of her pod, she discovers dangers everywhere. But just as she is coming to terms with her solitude, a chance encounter with a group of arrogant bottlenoses will irrevocably alter the course of her life. In her terrifying, propulsive novel, Laleen Paul explores the true meaning of family, survival, sacrifice, the harmony and tragedy of the pod, within an ocean that is no longer the sanctuary it once was, one which reflects a world all too recognisable to our own. I'm so excited to read from the viewpoint of a dolphin. I can safely say I have never done that before. And I hope it's all set underwater in the deep sea. I think that just sounds such a fun little read. So I am so excited to read this one. I think I'll get to this one first because the long list has quite a few books in it. Um, so yeah, hopefully I love it. Sounds really, really interesting. So they are all the books that I have bought recently. I'm really happy with all of them. I can't wait to read all of them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have so, so enjoyed going physical book shopping recently with my new local bookstores. So I'm sure there'll be plenty more book hauls coming. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.